Once every game. That's how Darrell Moore is always in competition for our Coca-Cola Zero Sugar highlight of the game. <laughs> Plays like that right there. Obazahan gives it outside. Peter Jock. He's attempted 220. How many has he made? He's actually shooting 38%. He's, he's, he's good. He's yeah. doing that. Former Iowa Hawkeye. Gets a steal. That's one thing that the Suns team does well. Yes. Obviously. Is the college three point champion, is that a real title? Or is that oh, yeah, they have, they, have, they have a contest. They have, the they have the three point shootout at the final four. He has a ground hard. Yeah, his on. left knee. It's all right. Here. He appears to be okay. That's yeah. last week for the hustle. Yeah. In a loss. Yeah. I heard him thinking about Tyler Harvey and the issue of Grizz time that's out now at the game, the game programs. I spoke to him a couple weeks ago. And what an interesting story for a guy who, you know, he was going to go to like, a, I think, a Division II college, and then his coach happened to get a D1 job, and he got to walk on there. Showed up every week. White cream Cadillac, <laughs> white rims on it. First time when I first got to Memphis, the first time I ever heard him say the cheeker in your speaker, I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. Like, that's just, I wish I could have something like that. The cheeker in your speaker is just way too cool. But when you're like friends with Elvis, you get to be cool like that. Well, I tell people, like, I mean, I've been in Memphis now a year and a half, about, and I always tell people, Yo, I go to New Jack City. The arena. And it's also, Nino Johnson's about like 6'9, 245. It's gonna be tough. He's passing it to Tyler. He's got a. Find somebody who's hot tonight. Casey with an assist and a nice one. And, you know, the, be the best part about that was then a couple months later, the uh, Georgia <laughs> uh, went to school and loses to Alabama in the chance of the first half here. Also up 60 to 37. I'm going to have to start telling the Slam Magazine story soon. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Fill up. Yes. At least it was in a complimentary way. <laughs> yeah. no, of course. Your favorite sons. There was plenty of love the chicken biscuit. When I was in high school, it was different. Whether it's teams raising money yeah. to go on trips or whatever, they'd go to Chick-fil-A and buy a giant box of chicken biscuits and bring them around. And, them around. and they burger came for breakfast. I wanted a little sandwich. That's, that's understandable. Yeah. I get that. I'm just telling you. It's yeah. just it's an underrated item that nobody ever talks about. I got a, I got a sun breakfast item for you. How about a sunny side up egg? I can't, can't go wrong with oh, man. I don't even know scrambled eggs. Give me some runny yolk all over those hash browns. Oh yeah. Tariq Phillips scoops that one up and in.